My name is Eddie Russell. I'm the president of ERMC. ERMC provides services for centers such as airports, shopping centers, enclosed shopping malls, landscaping, uh, maintenance, janitorial, security, uh, basically any service curb to curb. We have a little over 3,500 employees. We're licensed in 36 states and we've been in business since 1972. Our revenue will probably be a little over 100 million. I'm Elisa Russell and I am an assistant at ERMC and I'm also Eddie's wife. Some of the, the challenges that I had in the past and some things that I wanted to see improvement on from this program would have been name, memory, dates, times that I should be specific places, details about specific pieces of business that we had, details about individuals that I should know. Some benefits that I hope to see for Eddie um, on a personal level would be just remembering simple tasks that needed to be done at home, events that we needed to be at that weren't necessarily tied to work. Um, and at work, I mean, a, a plethora of things. Memorizing names, memorizing sites, memorizing the employees' names, memorizing calendar events, certain project dates that we needed to get done. It's just a lot easier on me as an assistant to have him be even more self-sufficient so I can focus on the details and other things within the organization. And a lot of times being in my position, I'm subject to know a little bit about everything, but maybe not a subject matter expert in all the different subjects. So sometimes being able to process things that, that are being thrown out in a certain meeting or in a given situation may take me a little longer to process, which would slow me down tremendously which then sometimes would affect my endurance. I began to notice benefits early on. Within two weeks of the program, I began to notice things that were getting better. I would say nearly from start to finish of the program. Right, and from the outside looking in, his frustration level with all things decreased tremendously. I mean, just from getting the amount of emails in, I mean, he was getting to them before I could get to them which of course I loved, and his frustration level with um, getting through those emails and meetings and just everything was happening just quicker and easier. Before learning RX, for me, I was easily distracted, so I would actually attempt to keep distractions away. At the point, sometimes I, I may have even been on the edge of being rude to, to teammates and, and members when they would come to me about something. If I was in the middle of something else, uh, I would almost have to shoo them away. It was difficult for me to maintain that focus to begin with, and if you added distractions, it was very difficult. I remember my first day at Learning RX, there's stuff moving everywhere. And so Josh is, is going through an exercise with me, and he's moving stuff around on the desk, and I'm like, hey, this is too much, and it wasn't long before I noticed, even before I noticed me improving here, I noticed at the office I was beginning to, to multitask and switch. Task switch was becoming so easy for me, whereas in the past it was not. Tell me about some of the memory techniques that you learned here that you were able to, and how you applied them to your daily life. I have a funny story about memory. Eddie mentioned that he knew the precedents forwards and backwards. And dude was like, no way. Like, there's no way. I'll bet you $100 you can't say, man, I'm in the background going, don't do this because he knows them and he can say them forwards and backwards like that. And Eddie ended up winning $100 because of learning RX, really, uh, and and the progress that he had made so quickly. So. And, and the learning technique that I got from the presidents, yeah. um, you can apply in so many different ways, which, I, my trainer Josh taught me how to apply it in different ways. Well, learning to take those pictures and images. And then once I learned how to do the images, learning how to do the images quickly on my own so that whenever I'm trying to learn something new or retain a piece of information, I can generate a snapshot of something that I will not forget 
and then I can always go back to that and figure it out. And so as soon as I learned that, I learned that my memory could be made basically flawless because once I have that image, I always have that image to go back to, my confidence level rose immensely. So before, even if I knew an individual's name, I might not say it because I might not know it as well as I thought. I might say it wrong or I might even have completely the wrong name. Today, my confidence level is so extremely high that I call everyone my name. In the past, before learning RX, I would not intentionally procrastinate, but there were certain tasks that I didn't necessarily enjoy or were a little bit more strenuous on me than they are now post learning RX. So Elisa had alluded to my emails. In the past, I would, I would actually send emails back, give me shorthand for dummies, I'm not gonna read all this. Whereas today, I'll just read through it quickly because the time it will take me to send that email, I could have already read the email. So, so it's made a difference in how fast I can process certain tasks because it's pleasant for me now and it doesn't seem like a task because it's, it's easy. If, if I had the opportunity to recommend Learning RX to a colleague or, or anyone that may be considering it, my recommendation would be to at least go in and do a consultation. What do you have to lose? No matter where you're at on the spectrum, if you have the opportunity, if there's a Learning RX near you that you can go and at least get a consultation and, and see what they say, why would you not do that for yourself and for your team?